this is a topic you should be aware of. It's metabolism and conditions that can lead to excess and deficiency are discussed. Also, knowing its place in controlling your blood pressure is important. During pregnancy, the baby in its mother's womb needs plenty of calcium to develop its skeleton. This need is especially significant during the last three months of pregnancy. If the mother doesn't get enough calcium, her baby will draw what it needs from her bones. That is how essential calcium is for the developing fetus. Calcium is a mineral most often associated with healthy bones and teeth. However, it also plays a vital role in blood clotting, helping muscles contract and regulating normal heart rhythms and nerve function. As mentioned earlier, your body needs calcium to build and maintain strong bones. Your heart, muscles and nerves also need calcium to function properly. Some studies suggest that calcium and vitamin D may have benefits beyond bone health, for her, perhaps protecting against cancer, diabetes and high blood pressure. So, the functions of calcium in the body are Calcium helps your body with the following Building strong bones and teeth Clotting blood Sending and receiving nerve signals Squeezing and relaxing muscles Releasing hormones and other chemicals Keeping a normal heartbeat From where do you get your calcium as it is not found or formed in your body. Dairy products. These eight foods are some of the best sources of calcium available. Products like milk, yogurt and cheese are rich in calcium and tend to be its best absorbed sources. Soybeans, dark green leafy veggies, calcium fortified foods, Canned salmon, figs, flour tortillas, canned baked beans. How is calcium absorbed? Calcium is absorbed in the small intestine by two general mechanisms. A transcellular active transport process mainly located in the duodenum and upper jejunum and a paracellular passive process that functions throughout the length of the intestines. If you do not take sufficient calcium, you may get osteoporosis of the bones. Vitamin D is required to absorb calcium from your gut. Most adults under age 50 need 400 to 800 international units of vitamin D daily and most adults aged 50 and older need 800 to 1000 international units daily. I hope your doctor has recommended vitamin D tablets to be taken daily. Carbohydrates may enhance calcium absorption, while coffee and cigarettes smoke may impede it. The best way to get calcium is through food. Many foods are fortified with calcium, but some people need calcium supplements get to get the recommended amount. How is calcium metabolism controlled in the body? Calcium metabolism mainly depends on the parathyroid hormone activity. The ionized serum calcium levels strictly control its secretion through negative feedback achieved by activating calcium sensing receptors mainly expressed on the surface of the, of the parathyroid cells. What does calcium in your blood do to your heart? Calcium particles enter the heart muscles during each heartbeat and contributes to the electrical signal that co coordinates the heart function. Calcium particles also bind to machinery within the cells that helps the cells to squeeze together or contract 
which makes the heart pump blood. Calcium intake may regulate blood pressure by increasing intracellular calcium in vascular smooth muscle cells of the heart and blood vessels leading to vasoconstriction and by increasing vascular volume through the renin angiotensin aldosterone system or RAAS. Calcium channel blockers can block calcium action in your heart muscles, thereby reducing the force of contraction. Amlodipine, sold under Novesc, is a calcium channel blocker medication used to treat high blood pressure and coronary artery disease. It is taken by mouth. Common side effects of calcium channel blockers include swelling, tiredness, abdominal pain and nausea. Diljiazem is another calcium channel blocker given to reduce high blood pressure. It works by affecting the movement of calcium into the cells of the heart and blood vessels. This relaxes blood vessels, lowers blood pressure and increases the supply of blood and oxygen to the heart while reducing its workload. Should you take calcium supplements when you're on calcium channel blockers. Supplemental calcium may decrease the effect of calcium channel blockers such as nifedipine, procardia, verapamil, deltiasem or cardiosem or cardia and others. Calcium is delivered through an IV line to help reverse a calcium channel blocker overdose. Should you take vitamin D when you're on calcium channel blockers? Regular vitamin D3, 4,000 international units a day or less, do not significantly affect calcium levels and may be taken with calcium channel blockers. The importance of calcium metabolism in the body is discussed. I hope this video presentation was helpful. Stay safe and goodbye for now.